Secure. It's called HTTP Strict Transport Security. Bank of America. Browsers, Chrome, Firefox, you guys, you should do better. You should never let the user make an unencrypted request to these popular websites. Okay? So, what do we do, guys? It's like, it's, browsers is like, guys, we can't do anything. What do we do? You want, you, want, you, you want us to make a list of all the sites in the world that forced to, to work with HTTPS? That's exactly what they did. <laughs> so, there is one list. It's called HST, HSTS list, preloaded list of every single website that is like popular ones like Google, Bank of America, Yahoo, right? That, that force, that only forces stuff, right? To, to clients to work with HTTPS. And that's baked into your browsers today. So if you type google.com and hit enter, right? What will happen is the browser will always communicate with HTTPS, the first request that will that will force the TLS handshake. So it's very hard for a man in, man, the, man in the middle to actually intercept that if it's TLS, right? Very hard. Possible, right? But it's very, very hard, okay? So what will happen here is you make a request. Now the client is aware of the security of the website, okay? So there is one limitation, right? So you want me to make all these lists, right? What if I want, I have a, a new website called Hussein, Hussein Banking, whatever, and I want this to be secure, and I built my security on the server. Well, they told us, hey, if you return strict transport security header on your website, we're going to update our list for you, right? That's That seems like to solve it, right? So if you... You'll need to at least communicate with the server once, okay? Once you communicate once with the server in an HTTPS manner, you're going to receive that header, and the browser will say, hey, oh, this site wants to communicate always in HTTPS, and there is like a max age. For the next year, please, any request to this request, to this swap website, always use HTTPS. If you have a page, and there is like a mixed mode. There is a bunch of links to Hussein Banking, HTTP Hussein Banking slash BN, uh, on the BNG, right? And there is another web page that uh, the another link goes to HTTP, another link to HTTP. All these, convert them to HTTPS, please. Never communicate with me in HTTP because it's bad. It's unencrypted. It can be man in the middle real hard. We don't want that. Okay? So that's, that's the header we talked about, okay? Okay, so how HSTS prevents a still SSL trust trapping? Let's talk about that. So, yeah, so if your web server supports both HTTP and HTTPS, right? That's okay, right? And you can do the swizzling on the back end. That's fine, right? You make HTTP. If they're ever reached, you're going to switch to HTTPS. But we don't want to clients to even make that HTTP request. Bad idea. So the clients check its list, right? It will check its list. Like I'm going to say, Google.com. Before I even send the request, right? How do you want me to communicate with the browser or the, with the server? Is this HTTP or HTTPS? This, the client doesn't know. The browser doesn't know, right? Unless the user specifically said HTTP colon slash slash, then you want HTTP. If you say just Google.com enter, then you're giving the browser the choice, right? And if you're giving the browser the choice, okay, the browser will look. I think the browser looks regardless but i might be wrong there it looks through the list says hey google.com is an H H hsts list so i'm gonna always communicate with https so i'm gonna do the handshake tls 1.3 all that jazz uh all the ephemeral uh, diffie hellman right and then communicate with you okay so that's what it well what if i'm going to hussein banking.com which supports hsts on the server Right, but I the client is the first time accessing it, so the browser doesn't know. It's the first time the browser ever consuming the stuff. All right, so it says, okay, I, I'm looking at the list. HosseinBanking.com is not. Sorry, it's not in the list. So tough luck. I don't know. What What do you want me to do? So what What will happen if you say HosseinBanking.com enter without any protocol? That will communicate with HTTP. Okay, and then. My server will says, wait a minute, please redirect HTTPS. I tell the server, 
I'm telling the client, hey, HTTPS, and then at that time, I'm gonna respond with the header saying restrict transport security uh, for the next two years, Hussein Banking, always please use HTTPS, right? So that's cool. Browsers, Firefox will say, oh, Hussein Banking is now updated with this HTTPS thing. Oh, let's use it, all right, that's cool. So now it's updated, and then for the future, the next call, if I do Hussein Banking enter, I'm gonna look at the list, and the list says, oh, this is HTTPS, so let's make HTTPS calls only. And that's amazing, guys, all right? So that's what we want to do, right? You see obvious problems, right? This is not perfect, right? I, I wish this HSTC, 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 my God, it's hard to pronounce. HSTS, it's not centralized, it's every browser, and I hope this like becomes a centralized thing that, that can be downloaded, all right? And, I don't know why just browsers communicate HTTPS. It should be like that. This is the future now. 